I'm Blair Gilbert here for MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores, Michigan, here to show you the right way to tap a hole so that you can make a bolt thread into a piece of steel or aluminum. And aluminum, mind you, being softer, is more dangerous for tapping than the steel is. It's easier to jam a tap when you're tapping aluminum than when you're tapping steel. When you go to tap a hole, you need to find out what size bolt you want to put into the hole you're about to create. When you know what size bolt it is, you find the corresponding tap that's going to do the job. When you go to buy the tap, the taps tell you on the tap to use a number seven drill. Well, there's a set of drills that go from one to 60. And they're numbered. And they're very precise in their dimension so that when you go to tap a hole a quarter 20 tap happens to call for number seven drill tap drill gauge here which is very handy it shows all the different sizes of taps and the corresponding drills and fractional drill that you'd use for that tap maybe i don't want to go buy a number drill so and i'm not concerned about the being a hundred percent strong in this tap because it's not critical it could be an 80 percent strong tap so maybe I'll use a regular fractional drill that I own that is a little bit bigger well by using the fractions I get to choose I drill my hole in here I'll use a little oil or tap magic which is fancy oil tap magic is important for tapping brass and aluminum makes the tap go much more beautiful job so you take you drill the hole you take the tap when you put the tap in the hole you only go so many revolutions in the steel will start to roll from these cutting teeth into the flute now these are the flutes that are in the tap so when this tap goes and starts cutting the steel the scrap material that the flutes that the cutting teeth are removing will go into the flute and can jam the flute. So when you put it in and it starts to jam, which it will, you have to go backwards a half a turn and it breaks the chip. You'll feel the chip break and then you can go in another turn or so. Don't be too aggressive. The aggressive guy breaks the tap in the steel or breaks it in the aluminum. So you have to be patient. You go in three quarters away, back the chip. Go back in, starts to get too much tension, back, break the chip. Next thing you know, you have a hole that you've created that your bolt will thread into like a million bucks. So here's the deal. I find when I drill steel, more pressure and a little slower RPM is better for life of the drill bit. And when the shavings come off in a roll, you know that's when you're going the right speed. One more thing is, drilling steel is always made better with just a little bit of oil. In lieu of oil, tap magic, it's a little bit expensive, but considering you only use a drop at a time, it's not a very expensive. Now these are the flutes that are in the tap. So when this tap goes and starts cutting the steel, the scrap material that the flutes, that the cutting teeth are removing will go into the flute and can jam the flute. So here you take your time and you make sure you're going in straight because you're going cockeyed. You don't want to do that. And you can feel it starting to cut in. And then you come backwards and break off that chip. I'll get a better one here. There we go. Starting to create the chip. I don't know if you can see it. I can feel it. Before I go too far, I'm going to stop. I go backwards and right there it just broke that chip free so now I go in another three quarters of a turn or so 
I come backwards, break the chip, and then now I'm three quarters of the way through. I can probably just finish. And just like that, there, see how nice? We tap the hole. The metal shavings, a lot of them, go end up coming out in the flutes of the tap. I just clean them off. I can drill and I can tap and I can do another hole. When you're tapping, don't be greedy. Get the tap started. Maybe one full revolution. As soon as it starts to bind, trust me, stop. Come backwards. You'll feel the chip break and then you can go back in another three quarters or one full revolution. Stop, make the chip break. So, steel is relatively easy. Plus, this is only one eighth inch wall. Now, I'll show you a piece of aluminum. I have a scrap piece, a quarter inch aluminum, and I'm going to drill and tap this the same way I tap the steel. Aluminum being softer, it's easier to jam a tap when you're tapping aluminum than when you're tapping steel. And if you jam this hardened steel tap in the soft aluminum, you're going to regret it. You won't be able to get it out because the tap is harder than the aluminum and it's just a pain. Do not break a tap off in aluminum. Take your time, go slow, and you won't be paying the price. When I'm tapping or drilling aluminum, Tap Magic is a very superior product to have on your drill because it actually gives you a more machined looking hole after the threads are cut in there. Typically when I'm drilling I find a slower speed is more optimum. You can see it's giving me nice clean large shavings. That's what makes for a good drill speed. So long shavings usually means you're at the right RPM. Too many people go too fast. And as soon as the tap, tap starts to grab, you can feel that it's not wandering around anymore. It's grabbing into the aluminum. That's a good time to go backwards and break that chip. Here comes the chip now, right there. And if it's not evacuated out of the tap, and it gets in there and seizes this hardened metal. The tap is hardened metal. It's not going to drill out. You have to get it red hot and let it air cool and then you have to use a better than normal drill bit to drill into it because it's a hardened steel. When in doubt you can take the tap all the way out. Make sure you clear the flutes of all the scrap. Just a little more lubricant. And we're almost done here. And you'll see they were all done. Knock off the excess aluminum on the back side. Makes it easier coming out. If you look closely, look how nice and shiny and perfect those threads look in there. That's the difference that the tap magic makes. See how beautiful that goes in there? Just like that. When you're tapping in the material, it's choosing the right drill bit, using the right tap, good lubricant. Drone and tapping, made easy, quick tips from MrHardware.com.